horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and the hearty high of silver, the Lone Ranger. With his faithful Indian companion, Tonto, the masked rider of the plains led the fight for law and order in the early days of the western United States. His strength and courage were always on the side of right against might. No man could match his daring and resourcefulness. And nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days when the West was young, and the Lone Ranger was fighting the greatest battle of his entire career. an isolated valley near the Rio Grande were camped the remaining members of the outlaw bands that once terrorized the whole district. Formerly, they had answered to the commands of a dozen leaders, but now they were united into a single force under the outlaw known as Pawnee Pete. One morning, a horseman raced into camp, dismounted, and delivered a message to Pete. Pete scowled and... The boss says we're to leave Tonto in Arizona lost to him to handle, eh? Those are orders, Pete. And he's got the crest to think we're going on taking his orders? Ain't you? Stub, when you go back, tell him I sent him a message. Yeah? Tell him we've decided if we'd quit taking his orders a long time ago, we'd be better off today. Tell him when he thinks of sending more orders just to think back to Turk and Red. Larry and all the others. I don't They fight. took his orders. And every one of them has been hanged. It wasn't his fault. We know whose fault it was. Now look, Pete, act sensible. You say to tell him to remember Turk and the boys. Well, why don't you try and remember all the cash you've made for the past year following the boss's <laughs> orders? <laughs> that was back a while. Just the same. How much you... cash we made since Graham sent for the lone range how much cash we made since that redskin in Arizona started butting in? It wasn't anything any of us could have helped. No. All right, Stubb. I'll make your proposition. What do you mean, Pete? The boss has always sent his orders through you. Uh-huh. You was the one rounded all of us up in the first place. We ain't never seen the boss. We don't know where he is. We don't know his name. We ain't never even heard his voice. You're the only one of us that knows a thing about him. That was what you all agreed to. None of you was ever to ask who he was. That was before the trouble started. I'll tell you what we'll do. Take us to him. Let us meet him face to face. We'll hear what he has to say and his reasons for it. If we agree he knows what he's doing, we'll keep on taking his orders. But if we don't, well, we'll tell him straight out we're finished with him. Sorry, Pete. Can't be done. Yeah. I mean it, Pete. You know what would happen to me if I went to the boss with any such proposition? Right. <laughs> if he had me horse whips, that's the least I could expect. Uh, that kind of a fella, huh? Right. <laughs> then what I should have forced then. What have you fellas got in mind? We're getting to the bottom of this trouble. Yeah? We're going to start from the Rio and work north. Huh? We're going to search out every place a man could camp or hide. But I'd... We're going to find Tonto in Arizona. And when we do, we're drilling them in the tracks. <laughs> in the county where we camp. Now, you keep still. But, Tonto, you look as though you've been doing some real deep thinking. What's wrong? Mm, he think a masked friend. Still trying to puzzle out what he's up to? Ah. Uh. Well, you're just wasting your time. I give up trying quite a spell ago. If he don't want us to see him, I reckon he's got his reasons. And if they satisfy him, why, they're all right with me. Ah. Uh. So let's start thinking about something we can help. What's that? How to round up the rest of them crooks in the hills. Hmm. That's plenty hard. Yeah, it's been hard, but it's going to get harder. Those armies know by this time 
Either they got to finish us off, or they're going to be finished themselves. I got a hunch the try to made for us across the border ain't going to be a patch in what'll come next. Uh. That's why I say we shouldn't go near Graham's place. They'll be looking for us to get in touch with them. They'll be laying for us. The thing for us to do is to stay camped here in the hills till we figure out our next move. That's right. Oh, oh, oh. oh Dawn, you wolf, can't you keep still for just one little bit? Yep, Tonto, I say that we... Oh, wolf, what in the world? Hey, wolf. Run for it, Tonto. Come on, run for your life. Get up, get up, get up. Get away. Get up, get us away. Shut up. Out of way from us this time. But they won't the next. First. You and Rich go back and get the horses. Them two won't get away from us now. Hold up, Tonto! Ah, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I think we gave him a slip. You look. What? Look there. They're still on our trail. Ah, come on, come over west. Get them all kind of wait. What matter? We can't. Look there. There's some of them there, too. There are others. Oh, God, there must be 50 of them. Ah. And the only way we can go is south. Tonto, if you want to live to see the masked man again, you better keep scout and moving. Get up, get up. Get him up, scout. Get him up, Tonto. Come on. 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 Out. Them Get him up, scout. Get up. Get up. Ain't there some place we can stop? Make a stand? Can't go much farther. I me no place. How far away? About three miles now. How far are them crooks behind us? About a mile, maybe. And come on, Tonto. I'll do my best. But the way this horse is tired, maybe before we get there, scout will have to carry double. Uh-huh. Get him up, scout. Get him up. Come on, boy. Get up. Get up. Oh, 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 now you fix for bullets. My belt's just about loaded full yet. Huh? You got plenty for a while. Yeah, no grub. Doggone little water. And one belt of bullets apiece. So, Tano, this is just about the toughest spot you and me ever got in. Huh? But there's one thing sure. What that? Maybe the whole bunch will try to get us. But for the time they do, by thunder, we'll see to it there's doggone few of them left. There they are behind them rocks, Tano. Pour into them now. Come on! Uh. Come and get us, you yellow pole cat! Come and get us! I couldn't follow this sign. I don't know what's become. Why didn't they get in touch with me? 
Why don't those men know what they're doing? I don't know, boss. Dan, do you think there's a chance any of the boys have got on their trail? I don't think so, boss. That Lefty and Bill, and they didn't have as much luck as I had. They met him, and he hadn't got this thing. They was all going to hunt a little longer, but I figured it won't no use. Thought I'd better get back and tell you. Yes, Dan, thanks. Of course, if there's anything more I can do... There's nothing, I guess. You see, boss, me and the boys, we... We kind of liked Arizona and that engine. If anything's happened to I'm them... I'm sure we... they can take care of themselves. Only, hmm? it's just that... Well, after all, two weeks have gone by without word from them. And that's never happened before. I simply can't explain it. What do you do? The only thing I can do, Dan, wait. Dusty's back. Tim is back. Bill's back. Why don't I get word from Arizona and Tonto? What's happened? Why can't they be found? Any word yet, boss? Nothing. Uh, boss, I'm afraid... Dan, that... don't say it. I won't give up hope until... Until, well, until I know they're dead. Boss! Ah, boss, wake up! Wake up! That's you, Dan. Open up! What is it, Dan? Oh, it's this. I thought you weren't up yet. Come on. Come on around the corner of the house. Hey, Dan, what is it? I'll show you. But can't you You know him better than I do. I don't want to say anything so you can see for yourself. In the name of heaven, Dan, see what? There. Look at that hombre coming from the south. Ain't well, that the... The padre from the mission. I thought so. He's supposed to be with the Lone Ranger. Uh-huh. That's why I figured if he was coming here, it must be something important. He may have a message. From the masked man, you mean? Yes. And the masked man may know what's they found of Tonto in Arizona. Hello there. Where ain't no see you? Hey, look at his horse, Mr. Graham. He's coming right for a distance. Yeah. Oh, oh. Oh, boy. Padre, you're welcome to my ranch. Oh, gracias. Are you... Have you come Senor, from the... I have a message from the Lone Ranger. A message? Where is he? Is he well? Will he soon return? That it has been forbidden me to say, senor. But can't you tell the me... The word I bring you concerns Arizona and Tonto. You, you know where they are, Padre? See, why haven't they shown themselves? They cannot. But can't you tell me... They so? are in the most great danger. Uh, what do you and mean? if they do not receive aid soon, senor, they will die. <laughs> curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments. Continue our story. Three days had passed since the afternoon on which Tonto and Arizona had taken refuge in a small canyon. Outside, the outlaws, under the leadership of Pawnee Pete, had made camp, and finding it impossible to storm the canyon, had contented themselves by laying siege to it. Arizona and Tonto found the hope of escape gradually fading away. That sent the skunk to cover, Tonto. Uh, Ain't as bold as they was, sneaking up here. Tonto. What matter? You think you could spare another sip out of that canteen? Of course, I know ain't much left, but just a little sip. Oh, we save water. Town of my throat and mouth so dry, I can feel my tongue swelling. Oh. Uh, oh, bullets. Huh? I got eight left. Oh, wait. Forgot about them two I just fired. That leaves six. Yeah, I reckon I better load up again. Oh. Uh, How many you got? Me got twice ten. Six and twenty. Twenty-six. <laughs> well, how's a good way to put it, Tonto? Would you say we were just about two drinks of water and twenty-six bullets from going west in a blaze of glory? Maybe we get way. How? Oh, me not know. Nope, neither do I. But I ain't afraid to face it, Tonto. If I have to go... What you think? Let it be like this. With a gun in my hand and my boots on. <laughs> Hello, Miss Long, I don't know. 
But we'll get him. We'll finish him off if we have to stay here until we win it. At the same time in the town of Spanish Flats, two men drew up on foam-flecked horses before the office of the sheriff. Dan, stay with the horses. Mm-hmm. I'll be out as quick as I can. Sheriff. What? 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 Sheriff, this time you're going to listen to me. Huh? You're not going to dodge and squirm and think of excuses. Ever since you've been in office, you've been afraid to go after the outlaws that have made the law in this county a joke. Well, now there's going to be a showdown. What's that all for? I told you I hadn't seen Tyrone in Arizona for weeks. Now look, Graham. I've searched everywhere for them, too. And so have my deputies. I They've can't... been found. What? And if they aren't rescued shortly, they won't live to tell the story. Hey, where are they? How do you find them? I didn't. The padre from the mission was at my place. The Lone Ranger had sent him. The Lone Ranger? Tonto and Arizona are in a small canyon about five miles this side of the Rio. Holding off every outlaw in the district. That corner? Yes. And you know how to reach them? If we can go there in force and start at once, I'll take you there. You'll go? Why, doggone you, Graham. Didn't Tonto and Arizona save my life when I thought I was done for a I once? I know that. Didn't they come here and do my job for me and try to give me the credit? Yes. Ain't them two hombres worth any dozen other gents in this county? Bet I'll go. You'll need help. I'll round up every man in town able to carry a gun. Then hurry. Hurry? Just stay out of my way. <laughs> Start the other end of town, and I'll take this one. Any man can handle irons that don't want to come, drag him out by his ear. Right. Get going. Get up, Tom. Get up there, boy. Get up. Get up. Hi, hey, everybody. Saddle up and load up your gun. Hi, hey, we got a job on work. Quiet, everybody. Everybody else can ride. We're heading for the Rio. Climb your high way and come and run it. Let's go. Come on. Thank heaven. <laughs> 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 
you hit him with them stones like a pearl there. He looked like he was ready to kill over. Shaking his fist at me. It's a doggone week he could hardly stand on his feet. <laughs> and he crawled back at me. Who's there? What is it? The sheriff and the posse. What the? Somehow they found where we are. They come to get Arizona and Tano. Wait a second. They can't have seen us yet. But what are you... Shut up. They ain't seen us. And if they ain't, we'll fix as soon as they don't until it's too late. Bat, Puck, come here. I got a job for you to do. It's coming, Tano. Still coming. Look at him pile around that cliff up there. I've counted almost 30 already. Uh, they know the whole gang of outlaws are here. They know what they're up again. That's right. Wait. What you see? A gang. Peach Bunch. What are they up to, anyhow? Them try hide. Yeah. Looks like they're all taking the cover over in that brush. Huh? And I don't see... Shots. And those shots was fired at the sheriff. Huh? But the shots come from over there. They didn't come from where all them fellas are hiding. Oh, no. They're going to trick the posse. Look. The posse will think them crooks are all bunched behind that hill to the right. They'll head for that hill, and just at the right moment, that gang will open up on them. They'll be wiped out. That's right. But what do we do? We, we've got to stop it. They'll be riding right into a trap. No good column. Them two, not here. Too far away. Huh? But they've got to know where them crooks are hiding. Tano, we can't let them get killed in our account. And what we do? Tano, uh-huh. I told you I weren't afraid of dying, didn't I? Um, you know, you speak true. I'm going to prove I did. How that? There's just one way to save them fellas that come here to save us. I'll do it. Get aboard my horse. Ride out of here. Ride into the brush where them crooks have hid themselves. And make them show they're there. That's a good idea. I'm, I'm kind of weak, Tano. You help me get into the saddle? Uh-huh. Thanks. And me go, too. Now, look here. Do not stop, Tonto. Here, Scout. Here, boy. Tonto, you should... You risk life. Tonto, risk life. Here. You get in the saddle. Now, take it easy, fellas. Don't anybody get rambunctious and try to get ahead of the rest of us. Just keep your horses to a walk. All right, you give the orders, Sheriff. That hill is where them I'm shots come from. I saw the flashes. Mm-hmm. So did I. There's no way to circle it, so we'll just ride slow till we get close enough. Then when I call out, wind to a gallop on top of that hill so fast, nothing can stop you. All right. All right. Shoot the kill. Clean them out. Then we can get Tonto in Arizona. If they're still alive. If they aren't, Sheriff, I'll never forgive myself. They came to this district because I asked them. Uh-huh. And to do the work we was too yellow to do. Oh, All right, boys. Keep your eyes peeled. We'll be letting loose in a second. I'll give the word. No. Come on, Wheel. Hold on. What? Behind us. Behind us and over there to the left. That's Tonto in Arizona. And it looks like the whole gang. They were waiting there to ambush us and Tonto gave them away. Back, men. Back. Ride before Tonto and Arizona are killed. At the men. At the men. Warned of the trap that awaited them by the courageous acts of Tonto in Arizona, the posse with Graham and the sheriff turned their mounts and rode toward the brush covered hillside where the outlaws were hiding. The sheriff, firing as he rode, urged his men on. Here's our chance to line up the whole gang. Give it to them, fellas. Come on, blast them with glory. They knocked Tonto in Arizona from the saddle. Pay those coyotes back. Come on, come on, come on. There's Pete. Drill him. Keep your guns hot, boy. Well, let's go. We've got him. Don't let him get away. Let him have it. Although the outlaws, knowing that the seats meant hanging, fought desperately, they also fought on foot. The forces of the law were mounted, and finally seeing that further resistance was useless, Bonnie Pete threw down his gun. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. We do not. Men, hold your fire. Oh, 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 oh. You sneaking killers. We ought to let you give up. We ought to give you just what you give Arizona and Tonto. You drilled them. Wait, wait. That easy done for a sheriff. Uh, oh, but, but we saw you fall from your saddles. Uh, we not hurt. Fall from our saddles? Uh, sure. But we had a couple of good reasons. One was when we was up against odds we couldn't face by ourselves. And if we made it look as if they'd already got us, they'd leave us alone. Well, well, we don't. Don't. And the other sheriff, well, maybe we didn't have no choice. 
I reckon if you'd gone without food or water for as long as we did, you'd have had trouble hanging on yourself. Then you're all right? Everything considered, yeah. Uh-huh. Then the Lone Ranger sent us here in time. We've captured the last of these hoodlums, and our work is done. Not quite, Graham. No? You forgot the one fellow that's been behind them all the time. Scheming their crookedness. Keeping himself secret. I know. Well, that army's turn is coming, Graham. And you can believe me, it won't be long. The story you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.